Oh, what's up, everybody? It's some Bowtie tie boss. I'm here with brand new IBO super middleweight world champion Don Devon George. First of all, before we get into anything else, tell me how you feel about this. <laughs> um, oh no, that, that, this is that kind of channel we're trying to get all in on. In that case, no. I mean, is this an overwhelming feeling? Um, I've been professional for ten years. To be honest, I never really thought this was going to happen to me. I just thought I was going to be one of those workhorse kind of fighters. It just goes to this is fights everybody, goes to their hometown, gets fucked over, but I got to come to my own hometown, win the title, and it's a great feeling. I mean, I paid my dues, I fought everybody everywhere, I, I deserve this. Right, now last time we fought, uh, we talked, you you told me that you have to finish this fight to win. I know you, you had a hurt hand, how hard were you trying to knock this kid out, and do you think that it, it caused you to not knock him out? I mean, yeah, I mean, after like the third or fourth round, I couldn't even make a fist with my hand. And I was basically just slapping him because some of those shots I hit him with were clean shots, and he took them. And if I had a decent hand, I don't think he would have been able to take them. But I knew I was just going to have to dig down deep and tough enough to cut it out. But. Right, now some of those clean right hands, he felt, it seemed like Barry Davis was gaining momentum, and then you would hit him with a perfectly timed right hand, which stopped everything. Right. Was that something you worked on at camp, or was that something you just felt tonight that was going to work? And we decided we in camp where we know that he's a dangerous fighter once he gets rid and so every time he got his rhythm, uh, Sam and Rita told me to make sure I stopped it. So every time he started getting his rhythm, I made sure to step in with a big punch and, and fuck up his rhythm. Right. Now, what do you think was the hardest part for you to overcome tonight other than the hands? Just going 12 rounds with a world class fighter is not easy. Um, obviously, I'm in great shape. I, I was tired, but I, I could have kept going. I could have done another two or three rounds if I needed to. Um, it's more mental than physical. I'm in great shape. I know I come to fight. So it's a tough fight going 12 rounds anyway. Sure. Now, you're going to take some time. Off, obviously, right? You just had, you're about to have twins. You just had a broken hand. Um, you mentioned in the, in the ring that you want to fight any, any and everybody at, at Super Middle League. Sure. And you have this this title now. Um, it just puts you in a different position. I'm gonna have a bullseye on my back because they're gonna look at me like I'm an easy guy to pick up a quick title. You know, some of the bigger names are trying to make a comeback, and then I'm, I'm gladly gonna accept their challenge. And shit, I'll go there and hit them with the right hand. I'll come to fight. I'll never not come to fight. I promise. I'll always lay it on. Yeah. Now what's up on the line for it? Are you ready to be that other side of the, 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 the equation where people have to come to you? No, I'll never be that fighter. I'm always going to be that. I'm never going to be a law box. I, mean, I tried it in there today. I was like, shit. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to keep backing him up. I tried it for a couple rounds. Still like an asshole. Yeah, last time we talked, he said he was the guy who couldn't dribble a basketball. I think he's still that guy. But yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I know who I am as a fighter. I know my identity. I know what I got to do. So what right. so do and uh, I don't know if you can hear me from the outside. I'm, I'm pressed, so I shouldn't be yelling this. But I was yelling, land that hunter jab. And when he landed it, I, I offset said, everything. That's everything with that jab. He was pawing his jab, and I was taking it on the chin, on the hand. I was laughing at it. And then when I hit him with the jab, oh, shit. You know, so obviously I threw a much more harder and effective punches. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's one thing that, you, what's your main takeaway from this fight, other than that? Um, just that I think I can go 12 rounds with anybody, and I, I feel like I deserve an opportunity to, to fight one of the bigger names in the division, and, and I hope I get it. All right, shout out to the sponsors, brother. Uh, I only have one sponsor, it's Windy City Motors. Mike Kinch is my manager, my manager also, and I don't need any other sponsors. I just got one, and I'm happy with him. He's, he takes care of me. He's like my second father, so I'm very lucky. 115 or 113 for your one Yeah, DJ! Yeah!